the wrong way. They had the, they had the, it was a tough life when they were growing up. So they didn't think they were going to have a better life. Yeah. To make ends meet for us and help us all, and make us have a better life. Yeah. So, you know, every every day is not always a struggle. It's just about your mind and how how you progress things. So so we how you how do you how do you measure progression? How do I measure my progression? I meditate. I eat healthy. I work out. I go to work every day, yep. and I, uh, I I research a lot. And I read books. So what's 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 your life dream or life goal? My life dream, life goal is you know, um, I work, but my dream is to be a martial artist. Uh, oh okay. Mix, oh, I am a mixed martial artist. Why don't you why don't you make a make your own school? I, that's Jeet, something. Jeet Kune Do version two. <laughs> that's Providence. What I always wanted to do as well. Okay. Make, you know, make my own school. Why don't you start your own YouTube channel or something? That's something is I've always thought of doing it. You well, should. But. Dude, I, do you, I feel like you can just do it on your iPhone. I know. No, iPhone's real, dude. Definitely. I feel like sometimes, you know, like, uh, do I have? Do I? I don't have the, the full knowledge to make a. No, you don't. You don't need to know the full knowledge. You know, when I started my YouTube, I was 21. I didn't know shit. But like, I made like a thousand videos, and I feel like I'm still learning. Cause like, yeah. cause you okay? Since you're a martial artist, right? Yes. Does one ever perfect martial arts? Sure. No, it's like, like Bruce Lee said, right? It's like your water, become water. Is water ever perfect? Yeah, that's true. It just keeps yeah. flowing. So that's actually where it's kind of interesting. You know, people are talking about on the internet, like live streaming. I kind of like the notion it's a stream because water is a stream, right? But the point of water is to keep flowing and keep going. And so even with doing martial arts or YouTube or anything, there is no such thing as perfection and perfection is not even the goal. It's more of a... Um, Continual learning and improvement. I mean because like my life goal is I just want to make infinite gains for the rest of my life Infinite gains. That's something I that's even like, even if every single know. week I could gain Half an ounce of muscle for the rest of my life. I'd be happy Nice. Because nice. um, I mean yeah, certainly one never uh, So I think greatness is possible, but I don't think perfection is possible because you know We all say that Bruce Lee was great, right? We can all say that. But we can't say he's perfect, he's perfect. But nobody's perfect. No one's perfect. Because like once you became perfect, it would be so boring, right? Then you have nothing to progress towards. Because, like, for example, I have a friend at the at the gym. His name is Rock. His name is actually Rock. Oh, wow. You know, he's like 6'2", maybe he's like 200 pounds. He could deadlift like 700 pounds. Nice. But he don't care he could deadlift 700 pounds. He wants to deadlift 705 pounds, the 710 pounds, the 750 pounds, the 800 pounds. And then even the, the, record, the record holder, right? For like bench press anything right now it's like well like 700 pounds they don't they don't care they could bench 700 they want to bench More. 750 700, 800, 800 a thousand you know what i mean yeah. so i feel like you know even with bruce lee he hold the v-sit for 30 minutes maybe someone one day could hold for an hour well, hour and a half you remember even that. yeah you remember the whole like four minute miles and sales impossible now you got like high schoolers doing it right <laughs> So I'm almost yeah. wondering, like, kind of to your point, William, is like, it's, like, it's the mental thing, is that we're kind of holding ourselves back mentally, yeah, because we don't, we don't think it's possible, but no one has the guts to try. It is beatable. It is beatable to you. Yeah. So how do you? So why why you like Naruto? Why do I like Naruto? Yeah. Uh, because Naruto. I didn't. I didn't actually grow up watching. I actually watched uh, Dragon Ball Z. Well, I noticed when I uh, when I got into watching Naruto. Yeah. Uh, the, the creator of the show. You know, he released a lot of secrets that, you know, that has meaning to real life. Like what? Like what? Meditation, yep. the seven does, chakras. Does, does meditation in uh, Naruto? Well, it's not like a form of meditation, but it shows the form of how, like, you're, you have seven chakras and how the third eye works. Oh, okay, okay. So, and then it, it even goes into, like, you know, how eating healthy, you know, so mind, body, what, and soul. What, what does eating healthy mean? To me, eating healthy means like, you know, I, our bodies are temples. Yep. You only have one body while you're here on this earth. Yep. So, you know, you, you, you treat your body right. You put things you put things in it. It's, you know, if you put your body like a car, like yep. a Ferrari, yeah, yeah. You, wanna, you, wanna, you don't want to run up the mileage. Oh, know? yeah, that's right, you know, that's right. When it, for me, eating healthy is like, you could eat for taste or yep. you could eat for a purpose. Mm. There's people that, mm, this is good type eating or... You could be a functional eater. Uh -huh. you, know, you know how you come home from the gym yeah, yeah, yeah. and your muscles are just, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, want, I want a meal. Like yeah. you, you make a meal like avocado yeah. with, with steak and a side of vegetables like mm. broccoli. Mm. You know, there, there's foods that you eat and if you send, uh, your muscles respond to it. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, you, you are what you eat. So you know? what, do you, what do you think is the most unhealthy foods or drinks to have? 
the most unhealthy is, you know, you have like the corporations, you have like soda, yep. the worst drink you could possibly ever drink. Why, why do you think people drink soda? Because it's like, people drink soda, to me I believe people drink soda because, you know, the taste that, but if you really taste soda, yep. and when you drink it, it, it gives you like that acid feeling. Yeah, 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 that yeah, really yeah. be good to your internal Oh, system? dude, you know you, you know you could actually um, fix your engine by pouring Coca-Cola wow. in a car. Like, you know, if it has rust, think about, you could pour Coca-Cola and you could actually fix how, it. how strong Coca-Cola is if you could do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah, Coca-Cola, yeah. you got pizza, yeah. burgers, yeah. you know, chips. Yeah. You know, those are necessarily not the healthiest things that you could be eating. Imagine mm. drinking, you have people, or energy, monster drinks. Yep. You have people who drink those every day. That's like crazy. Like it's water. Yeah, 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 What is that really doing to your system inside? It's you know, destroying you, eh? It's destroying you. You don't yep. really know what, what, is, what's, what it's causing or what it's doing. Now, imagine every morning having a cup of tea. Yep. Green tea. Yep. Or, you know, you're having a nice oat bowl of oatmeal, mm -hmm. you know? Those are the type of meals that you, you want to be eating because of you know, un unhealthiness for a long period of time, yeah. it causes damage. You know, you have people that get uh, diabetes, like blood pressure, yeah. and all of these things from eating terrible foods. Well, so like, what do you think are the main like health misconceptions? Because I think a lot of people, like I, I they don't do it on purpose. They just like, they just, just read some random stuff on the internet and yeah. they just kind of get fooled. I feel like the, the conception is moderation. Mm. You know, too much of anything is, is they say, and too much of anything is not good for you. Yeah, that's so true. So do everything in moderation. Have a soda once how about, in a while. How about, how, about, how, about, how about cocaine in moderation? Heroin so, in moderation? I, I couldn't really speak for those yeah. because, I mean, I don't know if they're too, really too good for you or if they're yeah. not too good for you. Yeah. So I do know that, uh, and bagels, you yep. know the bagels have bagels have poppy seeds. Yep. Those poppy seeds. Oh, opium. Heroin. Opium. Yeah, heroin. So think about that. Is yep. it is it good for you? It might. There might be something that's that's could, that could be good about it. Well, yeah. Like if you have like opium or poppy seeds in moderation, it's probably probably good for you. Yeah, in moderation. Well, actually, you know, uh, cocaine, right? It's from the coca leaf, right? You know, people yeah. in the Andes, they actually just chew the coca leaves. Apparently, it's actually pretty good for your health. I've heard that before as well. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So, you know, every, I guess, you know, everything, like, same thing when you have a drink. Yeah. You don't drink all the time when you're going to become a drunk. Okay. You don't smoke all the time when you're going to become an yeah. addict, you know? So, I feel like that's, you know, it's a good conclusion in moderation. So, William, how'd you get so muscular? How'd I get so muscular? Uh, so, I feel like there's a rule of hereditary and genetics. We all have it, and in order for you to, you know, get to where you want to be in health and, and, phys and physics, yeah. uh, it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of work and all, it takes a lot of dedication. How I did it was, you know, you have your, you have your normal push-ups, sit-ups, yeah. yeah. you know, and it's actually hard because yeah. you can't just work out. You have to diet and have uh, nutrition. That's the, that's really the secret. So they always say abs are made in the kitchen. Oh, that's, oh, that's true. Say, but, but, but you know, there's some dudes like, oh, you know. I'm a, I'm a ectomorph, or I'm Asian, or yeah. you know I can't get buff, or you know I'm short, or you I know I don't like, have the body style, I don't have genetics. What do you say to those people? I feel like that is all a mindset. You know, if you, it's just like if you tell yourself, oh, I'm old, yep. I'm, I'm getting old, I yep. can't, I can't get any younger. Yep. You have to, you have to make the changes to do it. It's all, it's all up to you. To so why, why do you think people talk all that negative talk on themselves? They're, well, how people talk the negative talk, I feel like they just put themselves down and they just don't think that they're capable. Yeah. We're, we're, all, we're all extremely capable of, of making, we, we make the, because once the mind acts, the body follows. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the mind makes the decision before the body does. So mm. if you tell yourself, oh, this is in my head, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna get in shape, I'm gonna, yeah. I want this for me. Uh -huh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, get in shape, I'm yeah. gonna start eating healthy. Yeah. You could make those choices. It's, I feel like it's all on you and, and how you do it. Uh, where, 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 where did you get your self-confidence from? I got my self-confidence from my family. Mm. Growing up, you know, my, my, like I said, my uncles yep. uh, were my role models. Yep. One of my uncles, they were all my, well, all of my, all three of my, I have three uncles. They're, okay, into, yep. they're into fitness and health. Oh. So watching them and hearing their stories about, you know, one of my uncles. Wait, one second, I'll, I'll read this real quick. What does it say? Free, free Clown University DVD, nice. All right, we can walk. We jaywalk, it's one cool. Of, 
one of my uncles was a uh, a boxer. Yeah. Uh, oh, really? They all, you know, they were all very good in shape, and yeah. they influenced me a lot to, you know, from the stories that they viewed and went through. Yeah. It, it, Powered me to, you know, be strong for myself. Yeah. So that's how that, you know, that kind of went. So what's what's your, what's your ethnicity? My ethnicity, I'm African American, Indian, and Irish descent. Oh, so what do you what do you think when people say you black? What do I think when people say I'm black? Yep. I just think, you know, that's just a word. It's a color. Yep. It doesn't. It shouldn't have any meaning of. Discredi discredibility, like you know, yep. neg negativity. Yep. Because because at the at the end of the day, yep. we, we, all, we, all, we all we bleed the same. We yep. all have the same skin uh -huh. color. Uh -huh. You know, so it, there shouldn't be any difference in, in race in any. Why why do you, why do you think America is so racist? I just think it's it's uh it's an ongoing it's a stereotype thing. Yep. It's just something that we're in, was embedded in. Americans to oh yeah. I don't I don't like I don't like you because you're black. Yeah. It was there's you know I feel like there's a, maybe a certain a certain race that just influenced other races to think black is not okay and white is right. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, how do you define white? How I define white, uh, I can't really say because like I'm not racist and yeah. I don't want to be a, like stere stereotype or yeah. whatever. But how white is defined is. White is pure. Oh. Think of sugar. Think of salt. Oh yeah, and yeah. If yeah. you think of black, you think of dirt. You yeah. Know? So it's like it's stereotype and it's labeling. It's oh. like the same if, like, if black people. I know it's like black people own pit bulls. Yep. And if, if a, a, a pit bull is like you know a pit bull is the worst dog. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Now yep. a lot of white people own German shepherds, golden mm. retrievers. Yep. You don't think of those type of dogs as, you know... Dangerous. Dangerous, but... Uh, 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 How about it, German Shepherds, though? They're kind of dangerous, no? But they're more... I feel like they're more known as a more, you know, classy type of animal. Oh, or, oh so it's a class issue. Yeah, it's a... Exactly. Oh. I also feel that as well. Mm. You know, but we shouldn't, we shouldn't stereotype or label any of these things with yep. animals, our skin color, our race, mm. anything. You know, we're all mm. the same. You know, we, we get along until, until it's our time. So, so let's say, you know, somebody watching this video is like, y'all want to be less racist, right? Yeah. How do people become less racist? How do people become less racist? Yeah. You, you, you walk down the street, you greet, you greet everyone, uh, someone you don't know, you just say, hey, how you doing? Yep. Have a good day. Yep. You know, that's, for me, that's how I would do it, you know? Mm. You just make friends. Be every, we're all here to be friendly and make peace. That's mm. what the earth is about. Mm. It says nowhere in the Bible that we were all supposed to be racist or divided yeah I feel like my way is walking down the street and saying hi to hi to a person and telling them to have a good day I hope mm. you have a good day because mm. that could make somebody's day that's true though because like I think everyone's just kind of lonely you know yeah people people want somebody to talk to you but need a friend you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, people are lonely then, you know we could it's, it's all up it's all up to the people I yeah. also feel like it's the youth yeah the youth is the future because whatever they're projecting and seeing they're they're the next ones that's gonna make the step so it all depends on the youth as well. If they, mm. you know, whatever the youth sees, they're gonna act. So how would you, how would you change the the school system? Ah, uh, the school system, teach us real history, teach us what. what well, what's, what's 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 real history? So for me, in my when I was well, I graduated. Yeah. So how do you? I am 24. Okay. Uh, for me, real history would be to it, uh, completely diminish the Christopher Columbus theory. Hmm. You know, uh, racist, what, what, right? what America is really about, that that guy did not found, Amer he did not uh, conquer America. You can't conquer something that's already been conquered. So uh, okay. How did he come here and do that? Yep. They need to teach us real history. You know, I, and my, from from my perspective, history, they always taught us about King Tut and the mummies. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't yeah, yeah. really teach us real history. Mm. So that's one thing that I would change in the school system. Uh, in the school system, I would also change uh, food, how the mm. way they how the way they uh, they eat. Oh yeah, they give us such bad school food. Bad school food. Milk, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's not healthy food. They, I think they should make a change in the health with food. Mm. Definitely, that would. Definitely so what, what what would you feed the, the kids? You know, fruits. They well, they do for an, for an, uh they do provide fruits, vegetables. Yeah. But the nat the average food that they serve you is pizza, burgers. It's, it's not good food. Hot dogs. Hot dogs, exactly. French fries. So I would change that. It would. Tater tots. Yep. You don't like tater tots though. Tater tots are okay, <laughs> you know, once in a while, but I, the school system needs to change the food. Hmm. You know, I would provide more vegetables, 
foods that you know that people would would like. What do you think about PE? Because they're they're kind of getting rid of PE now. Physical like physical work. education, the gym. Uh, physical, physical education. Do you think it's important? Important. it's important? It's important, you know, because you cannot you cannot support obesity. Yep. You know, or your, your child go, going into uh, being heavy at a young age. Yep. So I definitely think physical education is important. But don't people say that like all body types are okay? Well, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't you shouldn't be able to shame anybody because of. If, if that's how they want to look, yep. that's how they want to look, you yep. know? That's true. There's some people that just, that's how they want to look. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, I think it is important that everybody should, at, um, you know, remain to be healthy. Hmm. Everyone should. So how do, you, how do you define health? How do I define health? Yeah. I would say drinking, drinking water from when you wake up to when you go to sleep. Yeah. Just, you know, fueling your body. Don't, don't feed your body or put anything in your body that it doesn't agree with. Yeah. You know, that, that's, that would be my definition of healthy, you know, just, just stretching out, exercising, you know, getting mm. a good cardio. But I don't like to exercise. Exercise is too hard. It is, it is, it's my, it's a mindset. I'd, I'd, I'd rather watch stuff. Netflix. <laughs> those, yeah, those are, there's, we have, and that's the thing about America. Yeah. You know? yeah. Where we, I feel like we live in a country where, where, uh, we're privileged too much. Yeah. You know? uh, if, if we, we got, we got too soft. If you really want to sit down all day and, and eat donuts and Twinkies. Yep. You could do that. You could make money off of doing that. Oh, yeah, yeah, A lot of people do, right? Yeah. We, yep. We, we live in a country where people, they just, they their belief is Netflix. They oh, yeah, yeah, in watching Netflix every day and yep. binge eating and all of these things. Jerk, so. Jerking off to Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> well, because, you know, I know I know a lot of friends and people, and I myself, too, is that, like, you want to be motivated, but you just, you feel either depressed or, you know, you don't you just don't have the energy. Yeah. How, how does one will themselves to have more willpower? So how do you how do you will yourself to have more willpower? It's 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 like a it's a mindset. It's something yeah. But like what what what, what what if my mindset's weak? Then you just have to somehow figure you have to somehow t figure it out or tell yourself. Can I do it myself or do other people gotta help me? So you others could motivate you into doing it, but yep. it's something that it has to be a you thing as well. Yep. It's like if somebody is trying to tell you, oh, I want to join the National Guard. Yep. Say a recruiter is trying to say, oh, you get this, you get that, yep. you get a lot of benefits. Is he doing it for you? Are you doing it for your benefit or is he doing it for his benefit? Mm, he's so, doing it for his benefit, right? So if, it's like a, you have to want to tell yourself, oh, I'm going to do this. Or sometimes, the, like you said, uh, what if your mind is not, is, is, is not you know, there? Yeah. Sometimes mm. it's like that. You might not be, mm. you might might not want to be where you want to get to where you have to be. Mm. So what's what's the one exercise everyone has to do? Like far as working out? Or yeah, just, working out. The one exercise I believe that helps. Yep. Simple would be like, you know, jump rope. Jump rope. Stretching out. But I don't have a jump rope. Or uh, stretching out. Stretching out like what? Like, you know, like, let's stop for a second. Uh -huh. Say the, 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 the main stretch you could always do is this stretch here. What's that? You have that stretch. Yep. Say you have this stretch here. Ooh. Yeah. Leg stretch. Yeah. You, you have people that wake up every day and they're, ah, oh, my back. Yeah. Or my shoulder. Yeah. You know, if you stretched out or you did certain things, you know, you could change that. Ah. This one is for your hamstring, the back of your hamstring. You pull down. Yeah. It helps your lower back and it helps the back of your legs. So. But yeah, I thought guys aren't flexible. Guys, uh, guys are flexible. It's just all mindset. Mindset. People, people that are not flexible, they just claim to not work out enough. Hmm. Oh, I'm not. I don't work out enough, so I'm not. I'm not flexible. Well, if you actually stretched out every other day or every mm -hmm. day, then then you could make those changes. Hmm. But a uh, big part of life. Because people are here like, oh. Uh, I have I have a flexible schedule. Yeah, ah, that's true. That's true. You know, yeah. Oh, let's go facts right there. Yeah, you know? You know, ah. if you, if you it's good to have a flexible schedule. Yeah. Or to be flexible in life, right? Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Um, you know. Yeah, because you know, actually, a lot of people who's like into lifting weights or whatever, flexibility is just seen as something that girls do, or yeah. yoga. Yeah. But then you know they're it's like, still, oh, you know, guys, guys can't get flexible because I'm not, can. I'm not naturally flexible. It just, it's just made. It kind of seems like it's more. It's kind of sexism. Female. It's kind of sexism, right? Yeah, like yoga, yoga. Yeah. Because you know, actually, yoga was invented by men. Once upon a time in India, women weren't allowed to do yoga. It was only a men's sport. Interesting, right? Yo yeah, yo yoga. That is pretty interesting. Yoga has oh. a lot to do with meditation as well. Yeah. Which which uh, way are you going with that way or this way? In either way. Maybe we go this way. Yep. Yeah.
But yeah, that's, you know, those are, those are my keys to life would be eating healthy, exercising, flexibility. You know, you have, you're flexible, you know, like you have flexible time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Those are the type of things. Those so are key do, do you need to flex, do you need to like stretch every day or in the morning or at night or so before you sleep? I would say, first, when you first wake up in the morning, yep. it's, it's, it's exercise and flexibility yep. would be the key things to work on yeah. as soon as you wake up. And then as well, you mentioned that before you go to bed, yeah, yeah. that's very good as well. To stretch uh -huh, up uh -huh. before you go to bed, because when you wake up after you Say when you stretch before you go to bed, you wake up. Yeah. The next day, your body is gonna feel amazing. Like, mm. oh, you're gonna. Why do I feel like this? Oh, thank uh -huh. you. you're, gonna, you're gonna appreciate. But, but you know, some people they say, like, yeah, I know it's good for me, but I'm too lazy. Yeah, that's just, and that's, and when it goes back to that, the laziness, that's the that's the stereotype of America. You know. Do, do you think we're lazy? I think. I believe <laughs> we we are naturally lazy. Like, if we could sit down all day and not do anything, we we do it. Hmm. But, really, I, I hate. I hate. I actually hate staying at home. I'd prefer to be out. Yeah, like some there's, but there's some people that have that mindset. Are some poor pe people born lazier than others? Yeah, maybe. That maybe be that as well. Some people hmm. might be born lazier than others, but it's it's hmm. lazy is a mindset as well. Hmm. You know? you well, because my my thought, William, is I think humans are actually not born lazy. Because all kids like to run around, right? But when you go to education, uh, you're forced to sit down. So actually, my theory is we're not lazy. School just kind of fucks you up. Yeah. That's an interesting it's, theory, it's right? Like when you hit school. Yeah, because you're not allowed to run around, right? Like, I don't, I, like, I don't know a no kid who likes to stand, stay still, and sit in a chair. Like, to me, that's like, that's inhumane. True. Cause like kids want to run around, and actually that's why I'm a big fan of like from those ages like five to from ages five to nine. That is true, you know. Yeah, you and not only that, kids. but I bet you adults want to run around too. But society don't don't let you, right? Yeah. It's like you gotta you gotta sit in your cubicle, you gotta make money, you gotta answer yeah. email, you gotta be productive. It's so like even adults, we're not allowed to play no more, right? Yeah, when we turn adults, all the playtime's over. Yeah, playtime's you know, over. It's like, oh, I don't want to get up. Yeah. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to go to work. Yeah. Yeah. Like ain't nobody like to go to work, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have boy, I have this notion I call it plork. Play work. Oh, okay. Cause for me, like I'm self-employed, but all the working that I do feels like play. Nice. And I feel See, like that's a, now, a good way to think about it. A mindset like that yeah, where yeah. I you know I love my job yep. or you know that's where you know you connect very well. Hmm. Or if you're a person like oh I gotta get up. Yeah. Then that's, you, but you but some it. some jobs just kind of suck though. No. Some some jobs do suck. <laughs> some jobs do suck. Yeah, yeah. Not everybody likes their job. Not everybody likes their boss. But, yeah. You know you have to do something. So when when are you finna open up your studio? So when maybe when this current COVID situation ends. Yep. Uh, what if it never ends? If it never ends, then maybe I might just have to open up my own hmm. my own gym at my in my house. Yo, do it, man. It would be really cool to try. Yo, do it. it. I've been training in, in Muay Thai, kickboxing, yeah. well, Muay what Lao, huh? uh, kickboxing for yeah, yeah. three years. Oh, yeah? And, you know, it's, it's really, really cool. I so what's, what's the best martial arts? To me, there is no perfect martial arts. All those martial arts are really cool. How about Ju Kindo? Wing Chun. Right, so I would say Ji Kun Do. If the best? I had a favorite martial arts, it would be Ji Kun Do. Yeah. I would say that would be the best martial art for me. Ah. But I feel like you know, all martial arts are cool. They're, 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 they're just huh? different styles. Different styles? But are there some better styles than others? There are some styles that are more effective. Than yeah. Others. Like, you know, Wing Chun. What do you mean effective? So, like, you have wrestling. Yep. Say a wrestler versus a Wing Chun fighter. Yep. Uh, Wing Chun is used in a math and yep. because it's close hand combat. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. then, if you have a Wing Chun guy fighting a wrestler, yep. and the wrestler immediately goes to try and pick him up and slam him, yeah. you obviously see which style is more superior. Yeah. So, who, who's, who would be superior in that situation? I would say Wing Chun could also be superior as well. It just mm. depends on the situation. the situation and how uh. it's used. But wrestling, I know, like, right, you say if you put wrestling against Jeet Kune Do, yeah. Jeet Kune Do is the way of the intercepting fist. So whatever you throw at a, a person against Jeet Kune Do, whatever you try and throw at them, mm. whether it's a punch or a kick or even a grapple, yeah. they intercept it. Okay, how about, how about this? Tyson versus Bruce Lee. Who would win? I would say... Tyson is prime. <sighs> I would say... For real? 
Why, 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 why? Wait, 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 wait. Hey, you don't have to lie. You don't have to lie. Yeah, take it back. You can take it back. I would say... Tyson is prime versus Bruce Lee in his prime. Great battle. But who would who, who, who who'd win? Who do you think? If Tyson connected, he'd win. Yeah. If he connected. But, but if he didn't. Because of Bruce Lee's so fast. Various, he has he's educated in almost every style of his. Yeah. He, so assuming okay, how about assuming Tyson couldn't land a punch? Could do you think Bruce Lee could actually knock out Tyson? Uh, Bruce Lee has they said Bruce Lee was 140 pounds, but he can hit like a truck. Okay. So <laughs> Well, I mean, like, you get a good kick to anyone's head, you're gonna knock them out, right? Yeah. So maybe, so, so maybe my theory is, well, I th I'd have my money on Tyson, but, Tyson yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's fast too, because, like, I don't know, man, like, Tyson, when he does bob and weave, even if Bruce Lee got a good kick in his face, he might still be able to take it. I don't know, maybe you have, to, you have to hit him in the eyeball or something. Yeah, that's another thing. I have to look at that Tyson is 200. 20 pounds. Yeah. He's 220? Yeah, I'd have to look at that, and then i have to look at Bruce Lee being oh. 140 pounds. So, he, he he would definitely be able to take, he would take three of Bruce Lee's punches just to get that knockout. Oh, so yeah, yeah. It's possible. Cool. Oh, do you, know, do you know what's interesting, though? Have you watched the, the boxing anime, Hajime no Ippo? Yes. Is that the best one? Oh, I love that one. Yo, after watching that, I really want to get into boxing, because, uh, I've always been like, so my, my story is that like growing up uh, Asian American, you know, it's always like, oh, you know, Asian guys, y'all have small dicks, da, 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 da. and then, so I always kind of had a chip on my shoulder. I'm like, yeah, you know, like, I guess Asian guys can't get buff. And then also oh, this is my self racism where I'm like, oh, you know, only African American guys get super buff because they're physically superior to Asian Americans. What would you, what would you tell, what would you tell me? So well, what I tell you for that is, you know, I don't think any any race is superior in, when it comes to uh, phys physique or yeah. nutrition. Yeah. No race, no race is superiorly buff or stronger. Yeah. We all we all have the same mind. Yeah. Like, it's just uh, it's been it's been put and embedded. Yeah. That one race is better than the other. So why has it been embedded that African Americans are like the apex physicality? Well, I would say because of the 400 years of slavery. Hmm. Uh, what the slave masters would do is they would breed they would breed the strongest and super the strongest slaves that there were. Yeah, yeah. Then if you watch like you know, you see LeBron James, yeah. Mike Tyson, yeah. who are their ancestors? Hmm. You know what I mean? So hmm. that, that alone. So it's more of a itself. more of a breeding thing. Sort of. But, but you know what's funny? When you talk about humans, we're not allowed to say breed. I noticed that as well. Yeah, have you noticed that? It's like, because you only, you can say you breed a dog, right? Yeah. But you can't say you breed a human, right? Yeah, like, what, how come you, how come you, it's, it's known that you cannot say that? Why, why do you think that is? Uh, because it's, maybe it's illegal, and if, if people in modern times talked about it more, like, oh, they used to breed slaves? How could they do that when? Oh, so cat, cats out of the bag yes. about racism and uh, yeah. slavery. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. it's like, and it's like, I can't, you know how people say black lives matter? Yeah. And this, and that, and that, and yeah. It's not just black lives matter, you know? Because you have Hitler, the genocide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, every race went through something. Whether yeah. they were black, white, Spanish. Hmm. They all, every race went through something. Oh, it's all, okay. The, the whole black lives matter movement, uh, you know, like I agree with that. You know, black lives matter. But my, what I find problematic is the notion of blackness. And... I, I just I just don't understand like how would you define Black Lives Matter or what's your take on the the whole so, thing? Because like I'm very I'm I'm more confused than anything. I don't. Well, I I'm not gonna lie. I am confused about it because, all right. So Black Lives Matter, it goes from you know we've had slavery. Yep. Uh, and we everybody I don't care what race you are. Yep. Everybody's a slave. What do you mean by everybody's that? Everybody's a slave to 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 the system and society. But I like to think I'm not. Well, it, well, to to these people that created the the, the philosophy of the world that yep. we live in now, yep. you you could believe definitely. Like, oh, I'm not a slave. I'm not a good person. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That, that's great. It's great. But yeah. the people that created the, the way how the world works, yeah. they believe in a slave system. Mm -hmm. So you have different forms of, of slavery. Yeah. But the whole Black Lives Matter thing, yeah. I just think it's a distraction because. Mm. I don't, I don't, I still, they're still gonna, people are gonna still die every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killed every day, no matter what. 
that's just that's just the way the world. But works. what what does that mean though? Like Black Lives Matter, like or when you see it in the news or the media or the whatever, like uh, what do you think people mean to say, or do you think everyone just has a different definition? People could have di- different definitions of it, but if I had a definition yeah. for Black Lives Matter, yeah. it would be like you know, stop stereotyping black man. Like why do I have to walk? Why do I have to walk on the sidewalk and mm. smile at a a. a like you literally, this like say a black person is walking down the street, and they walk past a white person, yeah. and they have to smile mm. at that white person just to give that person gratification that they're not a bad person. Uh-huh. Or like, it's like at work, I feel like I have to smile at, uh-huh. I have to smile at my boss because he's the he's in charge. He's the, you know, mm. it's like but it's all it's all been labeled. You see how it's like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. past the cop, you know, you have to walk a certain way or you have to. Oh yo, I have, I have a thought experiment for you. When people ask you, what are you? You should say, I'm Indian. Indian? Just say you're Indian. Because I look at you, I thought you were Asian. Wow. Because your face, you kind of look, you look more Asian. And then it's because, you know, you got, you got South Asian blood in you, right? Because yeah. like, so, like, if people just say, what are you? Can't you just say, I'm Indian or I'm Asian? Just say, I'm Asian. I can say, I can say. Could you, could you, that's true, right? Yeah. Because like, you know, you're part Indian, right? Yep. So of, like, so how, how do you think that would change if you just told people I'm Asian? They would, they would probably claim that I'd be lying. Why? Because of my skin color, but... Well, you know, some, 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 some Asians, darker skin color, or you can say I'm Indian, you could probably get away with that. True. What do, what do you think like people would say? Told, people ask me what's my ethnicity yeah. and nationality, I would say... I, if I told them I was Asian, they would look at me like... No, how about, not. how about if I say I'm Indian? What if you say I'm Indian? I feel like they definitely, they would probably believe me more hmm. because of, you know, there's uh, Muslim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. Because yeah, I think when people in America say Asian, they meant to think East Asian, like Korean, Chinese, Vietnamese, uh, that's it, right? But it was interesting too because um, this is where all these labels are kind of stupid because actually, I was wearing one of my best friends, he's, uh, he's Indian, right? And he was like, yo guys, and then all my friends, you know, were Korean, Chinese, whatever, right? He said, yo guys, I'm Asian too. And we're like, no, you're not, you're Indian, right? And he was like, no, like, if you look at India on a map, it's in Asia. And then he yeah. showed his map, and then we're like, huh, that is true. But no, you're not Asian, so it, it just kind of became this like in group, out group thing. Yeah. Because, like, even in East Asia, right? Some people actually don't consider Vietnam Asian, they call it Southeast Asia. Yeah. But, you know, and also, like, I look in the history to this. A lot of people in Vietnam are actually descended from China. So, you know, not that many people do the genetic testing, right? But I'm sure if you did more genetic testing, you just find out that almost everybody is mixed sooner or later. Like, even Koreans, we, we descended from Mongolian people. That's why we have the, the Mongolian dot, right? Because genetically, the Genghis Khan came and probably just raped everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Yeah, that might be interesting because like then if you say then you could say oh you could just lie you say I'm I'm half Indian I'm half Korean you could probably get away with it or you could say I'm a third African American I'm a third Indian I'm a third Chinese people probably wouldn't know right That's Here facts, that's Africa. facts. Yeah, no, we're all from Lucy, which is the common ancestor. It's from Africa, right? And that uh, was it. The, oh, do you know what you can say? I'm Indonesian. Say I'm Indonesian. And then people probably, people probably double take you, but I think they could, take, they could get away with it. What's up, man? Yeah, you, you can also say that. Uh, it's just like, it's just, I guess it's just been, it's just sad that it's been stereotyped that way. Yeah. That. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm really optimistic because like even now I'm, people are like, what is you, right? Yeah. I'd probably say I'm an American, right? Then after that, I'd probably be like, I'm Eric. Like, you know, it's like, how could we all be racist towards each other or different races? Yeah. If we all, we're, say we're, I'm from Africa, you're, you're from China. Yeah. We all come to America, we all speak English. Yeah. We come to Yo, a country what, and be what's, racist. What's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon? Mewtwo. Ooh, Mewtwo? Mewtwo. Wait, why, why Mewtwo? 
I don't know. It just seems like not not Mew. I just, I just feel like he seems like a more dominant uh, Pokemon. What's what's your what's your favorite breakfast cereal? My favorite breakfast cereal. As a kid uh, growing up. Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran. All right. My favorite cereal I hated yep. would be like uh, Captain Crunch because Ooh. of the milk gets no. too Cap fast. Uh, the Oops All Berries. Oh uh, yeah. Those oh that was good. How about favorite favorite Costco food? Favorite Costco food. Yeah, I'm I'm over there. Which way are you finna go? Uh, you wanna go straight? Yeah, we go straight. Yeah. What do you mean by Costco food? You ever go to Costco? Never. All right, favorite uh, favorite cartoon as a kid. Favorite cartoon as a kid was Ed, Ed, Ed. Oh, yo, who's your favorite? Who's I, I grew up to that. Who's who's your favorite one? Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I would say Ed. Ed. Favorite, favorite and least favorite ice cream flavor. Mint. Favorite or least least favorite? Uh, mint is my. Hated, hated. You know, a lot of people don't like mint. You're like the fifth person to tell me this. Yeah. Wait, why don't you like mint? Theory, right? You have hot chocolate, hot fudge. Yeah, you never have cold chocolate. But then there's like, you know, there's cold, there's chocolate ice cream. Or... Yeah, 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 but a lot of people don't like chocolate ice cream actually. Really? Yeah. Do you like chocolate ice cream? I would say chocolate. When I, when I if I have vanilla ice cream, I put Nesquik chocolate. Uh, oh, oh, yo, that's the stuff. I have a cheat day. Yo, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all about the the cookies and cream. Yeah, that's my favorite. Cookies right and cream. Cookies right. and cream. What you what you finna get at Whole Foods? Whole Foods. Um, what are you gonna I'm buy? Gonna, Get like you know a light snack because I still have food. Well, what what you gonna eat? I love sushi. Ooh. Food, so so what, what are you having for dinner? I'm I'm about to head this one. Uh, so what are we gonna have for dinner? Uh, for dinner, it's probably gonna be like sushi with an avocado, or you know, or sometimes if I prep a meal, uh, I love to cook. You know, I, that's one thing I don't I don't really like to order anything. So I. Do you know what you should do? You should just rename yourself to Bruce. Yo, say my last name is, see my last name is, uh, or, do you know what you should do? Just fuck with people? Yeah, just, just tell people you're either Indian or Indonesian. Say, say, oh, you can say I'm Vietnamese. You, you know, you know who Taiga is? The rapper? Yeah. You know he's half Vietnamese, half uh, African American? What? Like, I haven't done a full That's why you look at his face, he kind of looks Asian, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it might not be, but then it just kind of reminds me we're all, we're all human. I feel, yeah. I feel like I, I might have, you know, I might have Asian in me or, you know, Vietnamese. I okay. just might, you know? Alright, so you say it. You're, you're Asian, you're Asian, Asian brother. Oh. Bruce Lee, baby. Oh, I'm finna see you at the park tomorrow. Alright. Uh, see you later. Oh, just Google Eric Kim. E-R-I-C. Like, er Prince Eric, you know, from Little Mermaid. Oh, Kim? Kim? Kim like kimchi, because I'm Korean. So Kim. Yeah, just search me on YouTube or search me on Google. Alright. I'm number one. I've seen you, brother. Peace out, dude.